Hi, good evening, Dr. Samir. Hi, 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 good evening. I think some of them are joining. So probably there are lots yeah. of people who have already joined. So probably we can interact a bit before we go jump into the session. Yeah, sure, sure. Yes. So guys, uh, I'm sure all of you have got the booking. That's the reason you are here. So what is your feeling? That's important, right? So when you start off something, you should know what you are jumping into. What is that which you feel right now? What is your feeling? Yes. Okay, so can anybody open your microphone and talk? Focus. You can even put on your cameras if you are comfortable. We would like to, you know, yeah. rather than talking mm -hmm. to a blank screen. If you are comfortable, please put on your cameras. Focus seriousness has come now. Yes, Sharon, of course. When we know the exact time duration, I think we are all very good at in managing ourselves, isn't it? So that's really good. Yes. Anybody else? Guys, you should be more interactive. That is when the session, the life gets added to the session when you talk more, when you understand what's wrong, what's good. Still, I'm not sure about preparation. Don't worry, Gautami. You are not giving the exam tomorrow. You still have a lot of time. And that is why we are here to tell you what you can do in the upcoming days. That's absolutely okay because you are not giving the exams tomorrow. Trying to cover the backlogs. Yes, backlogs is a part and parcel of our lives. Right? I don't think we are, uh, even from our MBBS days, I don't think we could ever finish our backlogs before the exam. Right? So we are used to that. There is some, nothing new about it. What else? Good evening, mom. Something new. Yes, Vasvi. Mom, I have difficulty in remembering the numericals, mom, which is very tough, actually. Now, for part one, it's tough for everybody because as doctors, we are very poor with yeah. statistics, with numbers. Yes, but, uh, but it is not too much in part one. Neither in part two, they don't ask, bombard you with that. So... Probably three or four question max. And uh, I think you'll be able to manage them. You'll be able to manage them. So for five or six questions, I don't think you should be spoiling your rest of your 95 questions. Right? So I think okay. look at that. The thing is, whenever you have an issue, zoom out. When we zoom into the things, obviously everything feels very, very, very difficult. Okay. Right? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And out of that, you will guess few. Which will be ob uh, uh, always obviously it will be correct, correct? Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes, ma thank you. So you'll be fine. Don't worry. Focus on the main chunk because part one has become more of a clinical weakness now. So like that is what you should be more uh, thinking or worried about. Like how would I be able to finish them, right? Yeah. Because these ones don't score. You don't get too much here, so that's still fine. Yes. Uh, we are waiting for your special guidance today, how to plan in a short period. Okay, I'm sure Chitra would be able to help you guys how to plan, how to go about. It's, see, I'll tell you something for all of you. Everybody knows what to read. Everybody knows what not to do. But it is the person who does every single day, same thing. Okay. Be persistent, revise, repeat, again, do the same things. Those are the only people who win. I don't think we are telling anything new which you guys don't know. But the problem is how much you are on the track, how much you are running on the track makes a hell lot of a difference. And of course, if you are with us in any way, we are actually behind you. Now the things are going to be very intensified because you are also more uh, interested and we want you to clear these exams, right? So you need to have that one drive behind you to run on the right track okay because we are all like adult learning the problem is that we don't like anybody telling us but at the same time you won't be able to do also somebody has to tell you, you know what is right what is wrong so that's the whole point and i'm sure chitra would make your life easier probably we can start off slowly chitra so that if anybody has yeah. guys uh, keep it interactive in the chat box anything we would be able to help you and Yes, over to you, Chitra. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Samya. And we are delighted that you are here with us today. Thank you so much for that. So guys, welcome everybody. 
Good evening to all of you and a very warm welcome from Study MRCOG and Study Medic to all of you. So we normally begin all our sessions on time and we begin it with a very positive and inspirational quote for all of you. So nobody can go back and start a new beginning, but where you are today, you can make a new ending. So that is what should be the thought for all of you. So yesterday we just had the booking. Most of you, I think, who are planning to appear for the July 23 exam, uh, most of you have been able to do the booking. So the countdown really starts now, guys. It's just 66 days, 67th day is your exam. So do we really have enough time? That is the question lurking in everyone's mind. That is what I think. 66 days and you have 14 modules to cover. And in that 14 modules for the exam, you have 200 questions, which you are expected to answer, right? So you have to basically be studying for 200 questions. A few of the important deadlines, some of them have already passed. So the booking window opened yesterday and it will close on the 9th of June, that is Friday. So those of you who have still not been able to book, but are planning to appear for the exam, you still have time. But the seats really, they sell like hotcakes. So those who are planning, like keeping it off for the last minute, don't do that. Book your seat in advance so you are more focused and uh, then you can study properly, right? And the college is so systematic. Just see, they have in, even announced the date the results are going to be declared. So 1st of August is the day your results would be declared, right? So now everyone is on the exam mode. Uh, when we start preparing for an exam, what is the first thing that someone would think of? Yes, I need a volunteer to tell me something. Anybody? I gather all of you are appearing for the exam this time. So now that you have started preparing, what is the first thing that would come to your mind? Yes. Schedule. A proper okay. schedule. schedule. Correct. Yes. What else? How will you go about making a schedule? What do you need to no. know before you start making a schedule? Yes. We need to know the how much syllabus is Portion. left out, how much material is left Correct. out for us, and Correct. how many subjects are there. We need to Correct. know uh, something about everything kind of. Uh, situation. Correct. Yes. Correct. Correct. Someone has answered even the question patterns. So yes, that is also important. But basically, like whenever you are appearing for an exam, you need to know the deadline. That is, when is your exam going to be? Then the second part, most important is what is the syllabus? You just can't read everything under the sun, right? You have to be focused. Now, only 66 days left. Be very focused on what you have to read. So you need to know the syllabus. Then you need to make a plan. And finally, only making a plan is not important enough. You have to execute the plan, right? But central to all of this is time management. And we are all working clinicians. We all have families. We have friends. We have so many things running around us like this exam. I agree it's an important part, but there are so many other things and it's really not possible to exclusively dedicate your time only for this exam. So the main question is, do we really have time to plan and execute at the same time? So that is where the main difficulty comes. Time management, planning, making a schedule and executing it. So if someone has already made a schedule for you, I think it would be very easy to follow the schedule, right? Does everyone agree with me? That if you are given a schedule, okay, you have to read this topic on this day, you have to read this topic on this day. Does it not decrease your thinking or your by more than 50%? You just have to follow whatever someone is telling you. Is that, would that work for everyone? Yes, ma'am. True. True, right? Yeah. So now let us see. Yeah, thank you so much for acknowledging. So let us see first. The date of the exam, we know what is the syllabus, okay? So for part one, two papers, they are all SBAs. You don't have extended matching questions. 
Now, the college has been really very kind and they have divided paper one and paper two into two different modules. I mean, the modules are divided. So basically, there are 14 modules. Paper one has anatomy, biochemistry, embryology, endocrine, epidemiology, genetics, and physiology. Okay, and the rest are there in paper two, right? So now we know what are the modules and we have 66 days to cover 14 modules, right? The next question is from where are you going to read? Because this RCOG exam, it's a little bit of a different exam. It's not the type of exam or the syllabus would be a little bit different from what we are used, you know, to our own, like we all come from different countries. And in our different countries, we have like different books or different uh, Bibles, you know, for OBGY that we follow. For this exam, what all do you have to read? From where all can you read? So the college has a good e-learning system that is strategy. For part one, I would not really recommend too much of uh, the e-learning platform. But you have very good books, okay? So this basic sciences, this is a hot favorite. It's a very old book. Many students follow this. Then you have revision notes. You have this part one revision guide. These two books are officially endorsed by the college as you can read them for your exam. This is another very good book. Now, the pattern for the exam is changing and you are getting a lot of questions from clinical management. For that, you have to read some guidelines. So you have this green top guidelines. Now there are maybe around 75 to 78 green top guidelines. Okay, just, just keep that in mind that there are 75 to 78 green top guidelines. Then other guidelines that you have to read is the NICE guidelines. Then you have FSRH guidelines. So all this basically is your reading material. Okay. And once you start, it's not enough only to read, right? You have to practice. So from where do you get the questions? Then these are a few books from where you are going to do the practice questions. Okay. Uh, am I not audible? I'm getting a message that I'm not audible. Am I audible to all of you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma audible, ma'am. Okay. 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 Uh, so in case anyone has a problem, just to log in, log out and then log in again. So that sometimes with the internet, there could be an issue. It helps to log out and log in again. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, I have a question. Yes, dear. Uh, Ma'am, do you still have to read these books? Because uh, the topics I've already mentioned in library course. So do you have to follow that materials or should, should we uh, still read these uh, books? Uh -huh. Yeah, so if you are already there with us uh, in the library, we have given you summaries and that should suffice because more than 90, 95% of whatever is required is there in the library. In case yes, ma'am. Need... I've been following all, all the topics which is already mentioned in a library course. Yeah, so in case you need some added information, you can go back to these books or you can go back to any of the standard books. Like for anatomy, you need some information. You can always go back to Grace Anatomy because that is the gold standard or that is the Bible for anatomy. For physiology, if you want some clarification, you can go back to Genog. But okay. I think these books <coughs> would suffice. And especially the library. The library is more than enough. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. So for those of you now who are completely new, those uh, does it really help? that I tell you, you have to read from some 75 green top guidelines, then NICE, there are more than 100 NICE guidelines, FSRH, there are some 20 to 25, and all these books. Someone um, who is not already on our course, is it going to help you? And in this coming 66 days, would you be able to read so many things? Yes? Anybody? Okay. Sorry if I am confusing you too much. Now let us go back to this slide. Okay. I have not, I mean, that's not a mistake. I have put this slide once again. Okay. So if you see this slide, 
what I have written here is that in paper one, you get 25 questions for anatomy, right? Five questions for biochemistry, five questions for embryology. Now, what is the importance of this? Okay. Out of 200 questions, 25 questions are going to be from anatomy, right? And you have 66 days to study. So, in 66 days, if you have to study for 200 questions, in how many days will you cover 25 questions of anatomy? It doesn't really make sense to allocate the same number of days for each module because biochemistry, you are going to get only five questions. So this is what we have done for you. We have put down the percentage of each number, the, like the weightage given for each module. And accordingly, we have made a plan for you. So for anatomy, it roughly comes down to about seven days for anatomy. For biochemistry, it comes to around 1.5 days. So it doesn't make sense that you study seven days for anatomy, then study second seven days again for biochemistry because biochemistry is only four to five questions max. Okay. So because now you are running on a very tight schedule, that is the way that you have to think. Okay. Am I making sense to you guys? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma okay. So that is the way you are going to do now. And out of these seven days, every day, you have to put in at least two to three hours of study in that if you are reading the summary, if you're reading the book from wherever, two hours for reading, one hour to do the SBAs. Because just blindly reading is not going to help you. You have to practice, 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 and practice. N number of SBAs, and only that will help you out. Okay? So at Study Medic, what we have done. Okay, we are coming up with a fast track or a short term course for those of you who are still not joined on any course. <coughs> so we have made a daily schedule for you. And like I just explained to you, we have divided the number of days according to the weightage that you're going to get in your exam. You will be given a plan for every day, what topic you have to read on that day. At the end of the day, after you have finished reading your modules, you have to attempt your daily activities. Basically, first of all, you will have a private telegram group for you created so you can discuss all your queries there. Just one minute, guys. I am getting a call from my hospital. Dr. Samya, can you please carry me? Yes, 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 sure. Okay. So, uh, guys, uh, I think all of you, I could see some of you were worried whether you need to read all the guidelines. See, understand part one is about very basics. They don't ask you something extraordinary, okay? But the basic ones, okay? For example, in PCOS, uh, what could be the problems they can find out? So you all know PCOS will have irregular periods. They have hirsutism, right? You know all the problems. So whether they are more prone for endometrial cancer and endometrial hyperplasia and endometrial hyperplasia, what is the best management? What is the best management in endometrial hyperplasia, guys? Exactly, Mirana, right? So it is as simple as that. So, but they would be giving a longer scenarios, right? They would be giving a longer scenarios in which they are you are supposed to be choosing. So, what I would advise is whenever you are reading the books, see, they don't ask you blood supply, nurse supply, that time has gone. Okay. So they would be asking you with the clinical scenario what can happen. Okay, so that is why part one has become a little more clinically oriented rather than telling, okay, what is a blood supply? What is a now supply? But it's a very, very, very doable exam. So uh, can I address a couple of your concerns? What is the one thing which you guys are really worried about? One concern which you think you are really worried. Hello, ma'am. Yes, dear. Uh, ma'am, so I'm already with your course and I'm having a library. So what yes. I do is after each uh, session of uh, done by our mentor, I go through the sl slides and try to gather points from the slides. So yes. I feel whether that is uh, not enough for uh, the exam. I feel like that way. No, the thing is, it's all about it's all about revising repeatedly. 
Okay, so what happens is you whatever the PPT PowerPoint you read, just flip through them, attend the summaries, go through the podcast and attend the questions which is given. If you finish library four or five times, 100% you would pass. But the thing is, you have to repeat, revise and go on because everything is there in library. And if, uh, Pooja, if you go through those session PPTs multiple times, it's more than enough. Okay, but if you are not in our group, for example, anybody who is not in our group, you are worried how to go about for that we are coming up with two beautiful courses one is six weeks, only 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 question revisions of previous papers and two days goes, uh, you have to give us 16 hours, then we will revise that whole for you. Okay, even if you are a student, I can see that lots of you have joined both of it. That is really awesome. You can ask, we are already studying with you or we are already with other study groups. So how does that help? Basically, if you're a kind of a person who is always worried about answering how to go about, then these are the ones which will help you to only to do question and answers and nothing more or nothing less. Okay. Pooja, hope I answered your query about the library. Does that answer your yes, point? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, Chitra, carry on. Yeah. Thank you so much and sorry for the interruption. No problem. But yeah. I think, yeah, Dr. Samya has made it very clear to all of you about how we uh, offer, run the course. And the most important thing, what I think is that in one place in LMS, we have given you the summaries, we have given you podcasts, we have given you prep videos, we have given you questions. So you need not run to different places to find out your study material. Like the green top guidelines, it really doesn't make sense to read so many because not required. So whatever is required for you for part one, we made sure that it is there in your library. You need not read anything else. So that is another thing that uh, we have planned out for you. And it makes your life very much easier when you know how much you have to read. Okay. So like I was saying, time management, that is the most important thing. So, and it's difficult as doctors because we have to go Please mute the mute mode, everyone. Okay. So basically prioritizing, then you have to keep on getting alerts. If you have missed a deadline, you have to control everything in your life. You have to plan, you have to keep on reminding yourself and that is how your efficiency is going to be increased. So to make your life very much more easier and how do you get through this exam is that you and study MRCOG, both of us work hand in hand in hand. So it is your determination and our planning and execution that will lead you to success. So half, more than half of the job is done by us. Okay, planning what you have to read every day, how much you have to read, what are the questions that you have to think about. All that is done by us. We only need your determination. And then really you will succeed in the exam. Okay, so you are all sitting on a very tight time zone now. Get geared up, make the most of your time and I'm sure you will be successful in this exam. Okay, so... Like Dr. Samya said, it is only practice, practice and practice. And part one is a very doable exam. If I can do that exam, really, I'm telling you guys, anyone under the sun can do this exam. Okay. So that is what I had to say. Dr. Samya, you have anything else to add? Yes. Uh, so guys, I was uh, just wondering, uh, like, uh, does, uh, like, how many of you actually have finished the syllabus so far? Can you raise your hand? There could be people who have finished the syllabus. Nobody? Okay. How many of you think you have finished 50% of the syllabus? Yes? That you must raise your hand, no? 50% I think I'm sure you all would have finished. Yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so is there anybody who is yet to start the activities? Somebody who is, okay, they are booked now and they are going to start now. Okay, 
So there are people. Okay, perfect. No problem at all. See, actually, we all used to get around one and a half month or probably less than two months for the preparation. With all the work, if we can do, definitely each one of you will be able to do. Okay, so uh, like people, whoever, I think after the booking, I've been getting a lot of queries about uh, how to go about. Best thing is whichever, if you are part of us, definitely you will have a lot of intensive arts, rapid fires and things like that, which would help you. And you have a library, beautiful library, which would help you and all the daily activities. If you are not part of us, you can still go on with your, whichever the group you are, or if you are in self-study mode, no problem. We are carrying on so many activities, you can be part of it. If you want a quicker revision of all the exam questions with only intensive hours and only session based on question revision, you can go for six weeks. But if you want only two days, you want to revise the whole syllabus, 16 hours, go for two days course. Okay. So basically, even if you are part of us, if you are somebody who is wanting to only, only, only uh, want to revise the questions, it's a good idea to go. If you are part of the course, everything would be covered in the course. But to repeat that in that shorter duration, if you want it concise way, you can choose the six weeks and it's a very affordable price, guys. It's really, really very much affordable, which you guys can easily afford and do it. Okay, you are spending so much of a money for your exam booking. So just think what would help you and you will be successful because Part one is all about fine tuning your knowledge already, which you know, and probably understanding how to put your knowledge for single best answers. That's all is required. And you will all be able to know because basically you want to rule out the option, which is not correct, that diagnosis of exclusion in some of the questions. So we would be able to help you with the approach in six weeks. Of course, if you are in with us in any of the course, the choice is yours if you want to join the short term course but it's basically because there's a caution which i keep on getting what should i do what should i do i'm already with your course absolutely fine if you want to join for the question based course which is purely the previous exam question under one roof you will get an only question discussion no theory discussion so in r if you want to finish two days everything go for two days course okay hope that helps yes guys anything else which you want us to talk about any doubt? No doubt? Uh, Ma'am, uh, I have already taken your three months course. So should I pay for a six weeks course as well? Six or is it covered in? Yeah, as I said, Sweetie, in your three months, everything we will be covering you. Okay? okay. But as you know, probably as a student, everybody has a different way to study, right? Some of uh, the candidates would, some of the students or the aspirants want only the question revision. Okay, so that is the main thing, which that's the reason we have put the six weeks course where there is no theory or anything. It will be everyday questions you'll be solving uh, based on the previous papers and you will get the session also only question discussion, no theory discussion at all. And the mocks as usual, any course you take, it will be there. So if you want to just along with your regular course, if you want to finish quickly all the questions in under one roof, you can go for that. Okay. Fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, asking about the two days course. Yeah, the dates. Yeah. yeah, six weeks course. We are going to start it on 20th May, if I'm not wrong. Two days. Uh, let me just confirm the time because we have both part one and part two, right? I'll just confirm. But six weeks, we are going to start it on uh, 20th May. Okay. So you guys will get exact six weeks for that. Okay. Will there be recalls in the exam? Karishma recalls is a word which I really don't like. They are poorly recalled. Yes, they are exam tested questions. They are exam tested questions, but they always come with a twist. That is what we would be teaching you not to depend only on the questions there because none of you would be able to recollect uh, what the question is all about. So that is the reason we would talk to you about the questions, what can come maximum in those times, okay? On that topic. That's what we would be doing. Clear? Okay, perfect. Guys, don't work only for the exams. Work for your knowledge. Because once you become deserving, then 
irrespective of whether they give the previous questions or whether they don't give the previous question, it doesn't make any difference. So let's become deserving for the college so they don't have any other option other than to pass you. Okay, let's reach there. Isn't it, guys? Isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So it is a very easy one, guys. Just believe in yourself. You will all be fine. You will all be absolutely fine. Don't worry at all. Okay? Yeah, Dr. Samya, there are a few more questions about the modules that are given in the library and what about revision time? So I think the library does cover 99% of what is asked. 99% of the modules, yes, we have covered in the library. And revision time, yes, we make sure that uh, whichever course you are in, even the long-term courses, short-term courses, we do give you time for revision. So don't be worried about that. And we really make sure that you practice, practice, and practice all the questions. Yes. Anything else, guys? Yeah. Yeah, some of the topics which are not having a summary, my dear, a very few of them like ECG or spirometry, which you don't really need to read in depth. Those are, of course, covered in the session because just two or three points you need. So you don't really need a very big summary for that because we know the type of questions yeah, that are be, asked. As, yeah, And as usual, it will be there in the class session PPTs. I think that's more than enough. Yes. So if everybody is, Biostats is, we will be covered extensively, guys. Don't worry at all. Don't worry at all. Whichever the course you take, we make sure that you all will cover every single thing. So please don't worry. I know how stressful it is when you book the exam, but you will all be fine. Don't worry. Hello. It's very natural to feel. Yeah. Um, good evening. Um... My name is Maham. I just, I had a question. So basically I got a message yesterday that there is another session that's going to take place, which includes 3000 plus exam tested question bank with the explanation and summary of the modules. And so I was just um, like wondering if these questions, they're also included in the session that I have already taken, which is for the three months or like, are these separate questions that I should book? Okay. The thing is, uh, darling, the thing is, it's again, like people who want to read these two books. Okay, so there will be repetition of the questions because all exam tested we have to cover everywhere. But there are people who would want to do the self study mode without doing anything. So people who would want to just flip through the questions that is the product for them. People who would want to interact with mentors and finish all the questions that is why we have six weeks. People who would want to just sit and listen for two days continuously about all the things so that they can go back and revise that is nearing the exam we have two days. So we have catered all the possible needs so that, you know, uh, even right. people who would want to do self-study, that is more than enough. And three months covers more than that, actually. But right. you guys should make an effort to finish them. That is the whole point. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so if everybody is fine, thank you so much, guys. Uh, I think I have to start the other session. Thank you, Chitra. Thank you so much. And all the very best, guys. God bless you. Uh, Chitra, there are some more queries. Probably you can take it up. I'm just yeah, the session. Thank you so much. Yeah. All the best, guys. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you, Dr. Samia. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, okay, so who, uh, someone has a query that the modules are not opening. Yes, Sukanya, you have some query. Can you open your microphone and tell me about it? Yes. Hello, madam. Good evening. Yeah. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Okay. Yeah, actually, I, I wanted to like, uh, I am going through the library of the LMS. Only mm -hmm. the anatomy and physiology, I'm able to open and uh, read and even uh, solve the questions. But uh, okay. after that, the endocrinology, biochemistry, genetics, embryology, whenever I'm going to open them, it's like uh, it, you have to buy it. Uh, this this no, is no. A, um, uh, Sorry. like that. Uh, okay, no problem. I'm really sorry for that. Uh, just put up a message in the group and the IT team, they will help you out. Okay, they will give you access to okay. it. Okay. You are with our three Thank months course, I think, right? You yes. are with us for the three months. Yeah. So just put a message yes. in the group. Even I'll put up a message in the group and it will be solved immediately. Don't worry about that. You will get access to all the modules. Okay. Okay. Madam, as of now, the sessions are only, they are showing four sessions are there. Uh, yeah. Till now, you 
taken four sessions, right? All the recorded sessions. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So whatever okay. sessions are done, you will have a session recording. You will have the PPT also. So if okay. you don't have time because the session recording, it will be a long one. It will be like maybe two and a half to three hours. So if you don't have time for that much, whatever slides the mentor has prepared that you can go through the PPT that really helps because all the portion is covered in that. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is Pooja. Yeah. Yeah, Pooja. So the session PPTs, yeah, we cover, we try to cover almost all the important points in the PPT. So that is what we recommend at the last minute. Like you have maybe like now 66 days left for the exam. So it's not really possible to read everything from books. So even if you read through the PPTs and you solve all the questions that are there in the library, like the extra questions, the questions given at the end of the module, do the daily activities, do all, we are going to open up all the mocks for you again at as the exam comes near. So do all these questions and you'll be fine then. Okay. Yes, Prajwal, I can see you've raised your hand. You can unmute yourself. Hi, ma'am. Um, so uh, I've been I've been lagging with the uh, attempting the Q bank. Uh, although mm -hmm. what I wanted to know is, uh, you know, a few other colleagues over here, uh, they are recommending MCQs from other sources. So what I want to understand is, uh, since you also have emphasized on revising the number of MCQs and doing as many MCQs as possible, uh, mm -hmm. do you think that a subscription to other platforms, like just for the MCQ sake, apart from what we do in our daily, uh, the study MR, study medic, should mm -hmm. we opt for BMJ and pass MRCOG or is it a lot of questions to cover? That That is what I wanted to understand. Yeah. Okay, Prajwal. So first of all, for part one or for in part one, part two in MRCOG, uh, we have SBAs. Okay, so understand right. the difference right. between SBAs and MQ, MCQs. Yeah. SBAs, like they're really going to test your knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, what I think, what is the feedback that I have got from past students uh, is that 90 to 95 percent of the questions that appear in the exam they are there in our question bank so if right. you are really thorough with the question bank that we have like uh, all the questions that are given in your daily activities whatever questions we put up you know during the session also there will be some right. added yeah. questions yes. which the mentors <laughs> solve with you then the monthly mocks that you have then yeah. uh, you have the mega mock you're going to have at the end right. and all these mocks uh, we will open up all your monthly mocks uh, towards the exam as the exam comes near so you can keep on revising them as and when and if you are looking for something only to solve questions right mm -hmm. then this six weeks course is the ideal one for you because there we are not going to do any teaching what okay. we are going to do in the six months course in the six weeks course sorry we will take up one module anatomy Whatever questions have appeared over the past five or six years, we will mm -hmm. be giving them to you as daily activities. And when we have the session, it will not be a teaching session at all. It will be a rapid fire round of thing with all the questions from anatomy that have been covered. So if you're looking for a quick revision, then this six weeks course is the best. Like you will get all the possible SBAs for anatomy, like for each module, you will get it there. All right. Makes sense. Okay. okay. And yeah, uh, if you, I mean, uh, see, part one, basically, we all know that it is more of repetition, repetition. Out of 200 questions, like in each paper, you will get 10 max questions, which are completely new. <clears throat> all right. So wherever you go, you will uh, like the same type of questions. But again, it's up to you if you really, even the RCOG, they have their own uh, exam preparation module. So Right. It's up to you if you want to still press, you can. Okay, it'll okay. definitely help you. It's not going to, I right. mean, it's not it going that to be I wanted to understand if, uh, uh, sorry, I just wanted to understand if we have, uh, uh, you know, just sourced out questions yeah. from those banks so that I wouldn't invest. That was my idea behind asking the question. So yeah. Thank you. It's See, basically, yeah. basically mm -hmm. when we started making the modules for part one, we started making the, like, the summaries. What we did was, we went back to about 2014 from which you know we could get the papers so we saw all the questions that have appeared 
at that time, then we got to know, okay, what would be the likely syllabus for you? So based on those questions, then we made the summaries for you. And uh, based on those questions, like those are the important points that mentors cover during the session. Exactly. Yeah. So that should really help you out. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yes, Vidya Lakshmi, you can unmute yourself um, here. Yeah, ma'am. Hi, I'm sorry. I joined quite late into the meeting, Good so evening. I might be rehashing something that's already been discussed. But my main thing was I wanted to know, uh, perhaps I'm jumping ahead of time, but supposing we get through this part one, what is your advice on taking part two, ma'am? I'm already lagging behind and I have found that uh, I have a practice and I'm already lagging behind. The, I, I'm in part of the six months course. And in the last okay. uh, four months, what has, whatever has been covered, I probably think I've done about 75% of what has to have been covered to, so far. About 25% okay. is that's still good left. enough. Mm. Yeah, that's good enough. You still have 66 days and you can surely cover it up in that. So if that is the way it goes, if you feel that I can do well in this, then should I go for the part two immediately after or would you suggest that we take a break and then try for the part two? Well, it depends on what sort of a person you are, okay? For me, like uh, when I cleared my part one, I was, uh, you know, I was so excited. I was so thrilled that uh, when the booking opened for part two without any hesitation, I like the day I got my results, I immediately started working for part two, okay? okay. So roughly, and see, the college also, you know, the college will not make you rush. Your... Uh, Part one exam will be on the 4th of July. Exit results come out by 1st of August. And then the next part two exam, it will be end of Jan. Okay. So you get August, September, October, November, December, and you get six months to study. Oh, six months. Yeah. Yeah. Six months is more than enough. Trust me. If you are someone who really wants to clear the exam, you put in about two to three hours of study every day. Part two is enough. Six months is enough. Then. And, you know, once you are excited, like once you have started studying for part one, your brain is all geared up to study. If you wait for some more time, then in those six months time, again, your brain is like, you know, going to go back on sleep mode, I would say, or something like that. And then again, you have to gear up yourself to start studying. Once you already have the burst of energy, make the most of it. You're not going to okay. stop at part one, right? You want to do your part two, you want to do your part three. So finish it off as soon as you can. That would be my advice. Because it's not previously like slow and steady wins the race. Yes, you have to be steady, but not necessarily slow. You can still be fast and then win the race. All right. Steady. Just one more and, thing. When yeah. would you, uh, I was told that part three can be given from India. Is that true? True. Yeah. yeah. Yes, we can. Okay. 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 Thank you. The college yeah, normally announces its centers wherever in India, either Delhi, Chennai, or they would announce that. But part we three have centers. Because earlier yes. they said only part two could be given here. No, so. no. It's a long time since for the past, I think, two to three years, even pre-COVID okay. times, we had centers in India. So that's not okay. an issue. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So I think you're all really geared up. And uh, we also wish that all of you clear this exam. So let's do it. It's a very doable exam, I think. Okay. So be on the exam mode. And those of us, those of you who are already there with us, I expect that the groups, they have really been very silent for the past couple of days. So start discussing. <clears throat> and like I said, what I have noticed for the past few years, the people or the students or the aspirants who really keep on discussing a lot in the groups, they are the ones, you know, who are really our top scorers. Because once you discuss something with someone, you are not going to forget it. Like in your exam, it comes back and, okay, this was being discussed in the group and this was not the right answer. This was the right answer. It immediately comes back to you. Okay. So not only discuss with the mentors, discuss among yourselves, put up your queries in the group, let people answer. If you are not able to come to our, uh, the correct option, what it is, the mentors are there. We will help you out with that. Okay. So make the best use of these coming 66 days and clear the exam in one go. Okay. Yes, Vindya Lakshmi. 
No, no. I guess I get the, I sent the wrong uh, reaction. I tried to send a. Okay. <laughs> okay. No problem. Okay. So thank you everyone for uh, yeah attending, and I'm not going to take more of your time. I'm sure, all of you really want to go back and start studying. So thank you once again for attending, and good luck to all of you for your exams, and take care. Bye bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye, all of you. Bye.